friends, Logan Wells here with Dream Guitars, and check out this 2013 OM from John Slobod of Circo Guitars. Um, we've been working with John for years, and every time one of his guitars comes in the shop, it's a good day. Um, he's an excellent builder, just kills it with everything he does. Um, he does dreadnoughts as well as OMs and double O's. Um, as, uh, Al Petaway, of course, very well known for his maple double O cutaway, which, uh, cutaway, I think it's a cutaway, uh, that he just got back recently, um, which, oh, back in 2022. Ah, what a cool thing. Um, anyhow, in my hands today, it's a 2013 OM. Uh, this creature has Paulo Rescrito for the back and sides, Adirondack Spruce on top, and it's opened up pretty handsomely since 2013. Uh, bass response, there's a little more kind of a woody bloom, if you will, um, than I normally would hear in an instrument of this size, so that's pretty cool. And of course, you still have that kind of inviting quality, if you will, to the trebles. So it's a very fun guitar, and again, it's opened up. It's got that, it's starting to have that drier sound, you know, as, as guitars age, um, which sounds really good. So getting into it for a bit. Ah, this is great. All right, so on this creature, we have a, a segmented rosette, um, and then we have wood uh, perfumes here, which I love. I love that detail, looks so good. And uh, we have ebony bindings as well on the body and the neck. Um, you notice we have diamonds and squares for the position markers, and we also have gold Evo frets. So this creature is, it's got great frets and will continue to have great frets <laughs> for a while. Uh, Polish Krito for the sides, again, ebony bindings, and then Polish Krito on the back. It's a good looking set. Um, sort of like Madagascar rosewood in coloration. Uh, there is a strap button uh, here at the heel, and we have a, a an end pin, so you can strap up into this circa. And then the neck is mahogany. Um, it, it feels moderately full in hand, um, especially as you as you get up to the top there. Um, it sort of has that vintage, like, you know, um, medium thinness, thickness to, like, medium <laughs> thickness as it gets up to the heel, um, which, frankly, it feels great, and the setup on this thing is excellent. We also have Waverly tuners here with uh, ebony buttons. Coming on to the front. So the head plate also um, is trimmed out with ebony. Uh, very understated aesthetic throughout, which, again, I'm always a fan of. And yeah, so John's one of my favorite, if you will, um, often modern, you know, traditional builders. Um, he also does some pretty cool modern, modern stuff and some other hybrid things. But this is a great example of him doing like the Martin style OM um, and doing it to perfection, frankly. So if you want to learn more <laughs> about those 2013 Circa OM, give me a shout. I'd love to chat. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. 